An update to a News 4 Jack's I team report on violent crime in our city. Local leaders are hoping new technology and partnerships will help reverse a stubborn and troubling trend. So far this year, according to News 4 Jack's records, there have been 60 homicides, 48 classified as murders. Today, the mayor, state attorney, and sheriff formally opened the new Crime Gun Intelligence Center downtown. It's a place where several agencies can use advanced technology to build intelligence to solve murders and shootings. News 4 Jack's I-Team reporter Vic Michalucci shows us how having expert investigators under one roof already appears to be paying off. The center is based here at the state attorney's office downtown, but it's not just the prosecutors because they have teamed up with detectives with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office as well as federal ATF agents. Uh, there's no witnesses to this murder. No one even called 911. They were cases that were hard to solve, but Jacksonville detectives say technology helped catch a suspected serial shooter in just two months. This entire process took roughly 60 days. Gunshot detection from Shot Spotter and a bullet recognition database called Nibin were two key factors in catching 21-year-old Jamin Tolliver. He's accused of killing two men and wounding another in a two-week span. Local leaders say it's a success story. But this technology is tremendous in terms of building leads. Again, that will lead to a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of closed cases in the community. Now it's all housed under one roof, the Crime Gun Intelligence Center, where police, prosecutors, and special agents share resources to cut down on violence. So when we're able to link different shootings um, and gather that evidence and intelligence, um, it enables law enforcement to act more quickly and disrupt and then prevent crime. The office officially opened today, but the partnership has been in place for months now after the city budgeted a million dollars to start the center, a joint hub for more than 30 investigators. We've invested in the police officers. We've invested in ShotSpotter. We've invested in Nibin. Now we have this lab where we have everybody collaborating together. News for Jax was the first to show you the plans in 2017, visiting the ATF and police in Denver. Leaders say they are pleased that their investments are coming together. It's important now to let those things work. Now, another way that local leaders are trying to cut down on crime is through the Cure Violence program. We have reported on it repeatedly. I just checked with the mayor. He says that that will be in effect by the first week of June. They are launching two offices here in Jacksonville, one in Northwest Jacks, the other on the east side. Downtown, I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.